Hi guys, welcome to this new video where I would like to give you a, well, a little overview on the new update on Serum. This is the, let's see, 1.095 stuff version here. And there are a few improvements here and a few additions, uh, what I really like. So first of all, let's jump straight into it. I have the, with, well, for me, the most important and most exciting thing here is the lock lock module here which works on every oscillator like sub noise oscillator a b and the future module and what it does is basically <clears throat> let's see let's um for example just lo load a, a preset here this is a nice little preset so if you lock oscillator one oscillator two and maybe the filter you can still move the buttons and the knobs which is cool it's okay but if you go to the next preset it will stay the same so everything else will change even you know the effects uh, the envelopes lfos the other stuff but the ones you locked for example oscillator a oscillator b and a filter they stay the same let's unlock oscillator b So it's really cool because if you have one preset and you lo you lo unlock no, lock no you lock uh, one of the modules or two or maybe more, you can make you know different variations from the same preset by just going through the other presets, which is really cool. Uh, you can have very interesting results, I believe. So this is pretty nice. I am very happy for that um, for this new edition. The second one is uh, on the fx page because a lot of things changed here um, for example the first one here is you can save preset for every effect for example the compressor save this effect settings the reverb and everything else which is really cool because i'm sure you know there is a pass there is a chance and options for you to save all the effects chain on serum this is available for a while i don't know from which version but um so, but basically this saves the whole chain. But now you can save individual effects, uh, uh, what is presets, which is really nice if you want to, if you have your favorite settings, especially for the reverb. Uh, you don't need to set everything for every preset, but you can just, you know, call it back. It's pretty nice. Um, and the second one I would like to tell you about is this reverb because this reverb improved a lot because it contains a whole mode now. So let's initialize the preset because um, let's just use a saw. Let's add the reverb. So this reverb, the, the old reverb is really pl plate-ish. But now we have a whole mode which sounds a lot better. And now at last we have a decay time a decay time knob which I really missed it because in the whole uh, in the plate mode we only had the size which changed the tail of the reverb but it was not the same but in whole mode we have the decay which is you know the tail the length of the tail So I think this is a very, very nice improvement on the reverb. I'm really happy for this. Although I don't really use in presets. I mean reverb, I don't really use reverb in presets because I like to add my own preset. Uh, I like to add, add my own reverb on, on the post process, post process. But this is really nice. I, I know lots of guys who love uh, adding reverb to the preset. So this is a very nice improvement. And there are some improvements on the, on the compressor. Um, where is, here is a compressor. For example, it, it will work a lot um, more accurate if you push up the ratio to infinitive. It will act like a limiter, and it act, and it, it 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 will be you know a lot more accurate. 
and what's next um, yeah this is a very nice thing for if you use lots of effects here there will be a problem for you well in the previous version it's a it's a problem if you want to you know like reveal reveal the filter type i mean the filter rack here, filter effect sorry in the rack you had to scroll down to find the filter and uh, <laughs> maybe your eyes won't be happy uh, if you use lots of filters, but now you need to only click on the uh, here on the tile to re to reveal the filter itself. So, for example, if you want to tweak the, tweak the compressor, you don't need to scroll down and find where is the uh, the compressor. I don't find it, especially if you know just made these tiles change a lot. It will cause you a lot of problems to find your presets, uh, find your effects. Sorry, it is really late here, but now. You can just click on it and boom, it is here. Delay, filter, chorus, it's here. Reverb, phaser. So it jumps to the effect on the rack. If you click on the tile, it uh, it jumps to the rack. So it's very, very handy. And um, I think the next one is in the, in the oscillator setting. Now you can MIDI learn the power button on the oscillators too which i don't think it's very handy but maybe some of you may find it useful midi learn mm, let's see all right i don't know how this works but anyway it is possible man so uh, I think this is all. Maybe there are some little more here and there and some other bug, bug, bug fixes. But I'm very happy for this update. So go over to x4records.com, download your copy. Uh, I mean the update version and go and um, experiment with the new settings. Um, and this is for today. Goodbye, bye.